love you so dearly, I love you so clearly. I wake you up in the morning so early just to tell you I got the wandering blues. I got the wandering blues, and I'm gonna quit these rambling ways one of these days soon. What did you want to ask me? Are we going to meet at the airport? We are going to meet at the airport. Excellent. Oh, boy. My name is Sandra Wasserman. I have two daughters, Andrea and Sherry. My name is Andrea Boritz, and my mom's name is Sandra Wasserman, or I refer to her as Sam. <laughs> Sometimes mom, but Sam for the most part. And my sister is Sherry. My name is Sherry Bortz, and my mother is Sandra, and my sister is Andrea Bortz. I'm going on a journey with my two daughters uh, to Vancouver. Uh, today I'm feeling a little bit nervous, just because they're coming to my neck of the woods. I know it's going to rain a lot there, so I'm thinking rain gear. Now these are different herbs I like to have with me when I travel. I don't want to take too much stuff. It's only a four-day sojourn. And it's a really nice thing because we don't spend nearly enough time together. All gonna fit. Yay! <laughs> it's a journey that I've promised my kids for a long time. It's to spend quality time, really, together. What really transpired was, for my own indiscretions at the time, and just being very unhappy. I was quite young when I first got married. I was 20 and uh, turned 21 in my honeymoon. And I can't imagine having your children taken from you as a mother, just because you, you know, gave birth to them. And like a mother's bond with her child is so different than a dad's. They're two years, two months, two minutes apart. <laughs> I do feel a bit of anger towards my mother. And I don't know if it's anger or just, like, it's more of like a why. Even though they had a custody battle, I feel like a certain abandonment issue with my mom. I, I know for me, like, definitely something happened that caused me not to, you know, believe in myself for years and years. Like, I kind of think that it would have been different. I would have had, like, that confidence in myself and she won't ever come to Ottawa and actually go over to my dad where we actually grew up Ottawa does not have good vibes for me at all and I'm hoping that from them coming here maybe we'll find out a way that maybe they could move that's sort of my kind of hope because I know my mom loves it out here and my sister loves it out here too going through a second Saturn return, which is, I'm 56 now. The Saturn return. <laughs> um, my mom's in her Saturn return right now. I believe it happens at 27 and 56 years of age. It's a totally crazy turning point in your life. It was at the exact point of the Saturn return when the divorce happened. I give you a call um, from the airport meeting. You know, you're fighting for the custody of children, so it's pretty hardcore. Some of the things that were said, my mom was accused of. And, but at the same time, I know that she was with Bob at the time, and that's adultery, and therefore it's not going to give you a very good chance of getting custody of children. Okay. Oh, Have hi, Mama. Um, you're not feeling well? Oh. And I said, yes, Mom, five is over, and she's going to die. She's always had a weak immune system and I mean maybe that's totally just part of her makeup but I think a part of her really like died when she lost us. Oh, my God. oh it's brutal yeah I could smell it. I don't think I really got into very many deep conversations with them and letting them know how I really felt at that time. <laughs> okay, sweetie. Oh. Every two weeks we'd go see my mom from my father's custody. So we'd spend the weekend with her. And I mean, obviously she fought for us and she's very sensitive about it. She always said, you know, she cried after she'd leave 
after dropping us off. I just want to know exactly what happened. I just want to go back over all the things that happened from when I was young and let's talk about some things that maybe I missed out on. Because I get two different stories sometimes from my parents. I'd like the, the story, like what exactly happened. There's possibly things that are unsaid with um, my mother because they're really sensitive issues about when my parents divorce. My sister, like she's going to be 32, I'm going to be 30, and you think like, shouldn't we have dealt with all this before? I'm hoping that we can, you know, heal some old wounds that, you know, and it's no one's fault, it's just, it happened that my parents broke up, but it was really monumental in my life. I think Andrew and Sherry have forgiven me for what happened, but maybe not, I don't know. Perhaps we'll see on this journey, you know, how the kids feel and uh, if there's something that I can do to make it better. What else do I need? Have you guys? It's all good? Mm. You look well rested. Yeah. Okay. I'll have towels there. Yeah. He's so nice. <sighs> How are you feeling, Mom? Yeah, I'm feeling good, dear. Good. It's that mountain air. It's the mountain air? <laughs> what mountain air? <laughs> the mountain air. I haven't had any of it yet. Mountain air. <laughs> mountain air. Who is this guy? He's a doctor. All right. Oh, exercise regimen. Yeah, that's so true, all those things. Running, martial arts, intense exercise. Are you up for that, Jerry? Sex. Oh, I need intense exercise. Sex. <laughs> intense sex. <laughs> as opposed to? As to mild, as moderate. To just lying there? <laughs> <laughs> so just lying there and taking it like a man? Oh, God. <laughs> well, there comes the dirty. Sorry. Nice to see there's a healthy sexuality going on. Absolutely. I think that so. Part yesterday. of life. We got into talking about that my sister had asked my dad a little while back about um, the divorce papers. I just don't get it how in that time, how could they give him custody to a, f a father? Well, okay, to I'll tell you what happened. Because uh, at the turning point, what, what happened was my lawyer didn't tell me that I couldn't take you girls out of the province. But well, you okay. didn't think that you, you thought that you could? Of course. Why? Why would I well, like feel that any different? Your father brought a court order. I guess he had me followed. He had you followed? He, he, he had, had me followed. He had a private detective follow me. Follow and he brought a court order to my mom's and yeah. took you two. I left you two with her, thinking that you would be OK. Oh my gosh, don't let me go here. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we don't have to talk about I was it, like Mama. devastated when I Mom, got back. We don't have to talk about it, it's okay. Yeah, but but I was Mom, devastated when I got back. I'm your lawyer wouldn't have informed you that it was against no, the law to he, take your children out That of the was in, in, the, in the court order. I found that out in the okay. court order. I can be pretty blunt when I'm communicating with... I think I've hurt my mom's feelings on quite a few occasions. Just trying to delve somewhere. Maybe I should have fought for you harder at that time. I just didn't... So during have six much fight left in me. Know. Yeah, during a six-month so, period before we so went to court. So for six months, he got cut. He, he, had, had, he had the two of you. never got to see us? I can't remember if I even saw you during that period. I can't for remember. For six months? Mm -hmm. I can't remember Jesus before we went Christ. to court. I can't remember. I don't know. Anyway. Well, it's obviously to do with, like, the fact that you had an affair. Just do you concentrate on, on the rope, sweetie? Yeah, I shouldn't talk about it, really. Maybe we should talk about this later okay. so we can have a nice drive. Oh, come on. Come on, we know you like to evoke emotion, dear. <laughs> no, it's not about evoking emotion. It's just about like... My mom got really upset. Like, I know she started crying a little bit, I could see, and I just know how she gets kind of closed up and upset. So I just didn't want to push the issue. Like, a, you know, we just kind of talked about it for a bit and then left it. I don't want her to get, you know, feeling sick or, because I know it'll affect her in that way. You still oh, wait, the Sasquatch her? is going to come up. You're going to crack up. Oh, it's I can't so wait. Okay. Where is it? Show me where the Sasquatch is, oh, and You'll see it. Oh, oh yeah, it is! Oh, shit. There it is. <laughs> I think the conversation that started in the car is not quite over. I think that they still want to go back there and uh, get more of a sense of... Maybe they just want to know how I felt. Mm -hmm. Should be different. Thank you. Oh, wow. Some refreshments for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. 
Oh my God, I'm just like oh, so spinned out. Oh, Is there anything I can get you? Well, what can you do? I don't know. You water? can't really do anything. Do you want some water though? No, my heart's just beating like crazy, and I'm just uh, having a biscotti? reaction. <laughs> no, no, it's really hard to watch her like that. A lot of doctors have said that it might be a panic attack of some sort, and she doesn't really believe that, um, which I, I tend to think there might be something in that. I can't help but think that there's got to be some reason why she's not feeling good, and I, I seriously think it's the stress, and I think that she really feels responsible for certain things, or that she feels like she let us down, maybe. Sing when you're in the mood, dear. Yeah. Maybe in the hot springs you'll get in the mood. No, it should be like this. Hey, will it make well, you feel better? Like no, you. I wanna. I wouldn't mind singing. Okay. You can run away and hide, cause you've lost the dreams inside. Cause you're ready to commit the sin of ending it. And there's no one who can know, understand the depth of your soul. You're ready to submerge yourself so deep in it below. Like a puddle from a vein, like a murder pleaded insane. Like no waters flow when all the taps are dry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's very hot. Like, oh, oh, yeah. uh, my mom, when I was a kid, my mom used to take me for swimming lessons, which was a really good thing, because when I was a kid, I was so scared of everything, and I think it had a lot to do with my parents' divorce, like not... Um, it was just really hard, because there was no one really around much to encourage me to do things. Oh, so so wonderful. Look how wet these are. <laughs> when we got into the water, the three of us, we used to do an awful lot of that when the kids were younger. It really brought me back to when we were kids and we used to go with my mom to the pool that she had in her apartment just to hug each other and joke around in the water. And water always seemed to be a place where we would connect. We just became like children, all three of us again. Like I just sensed it within the three of us. It's so nice. Anytime we get together, it's like a big circle of love, so that was exhilarating. Can you guys go ahead? I guess. Yeah. Got that. Are you guys excited? We're going to the beach. Yes. yes. We're going to Spanish Banks, which is my favorite beach in all of Vancouver. Look how gorgeous it is here. See, don't you want to move? Look at it. Andrea has a favorite spot of hers that we went to, which is just a collection of rocks that you can sit on. And Andrea brought with her some tarot cards, so we did a tarot card reading. And that was, uh, I've never had Andrea do that, so it was really nice um, to sh for her to share that with us. The well, health-wise, I think the first card, the art one, I the think combat I have to of give, art, you yeah, have, have to, to give up something. To... Well, you have to let go of something, I think, in order to gain something. Yes, I Because I hope and you know... And I think that holds us in illness a lot of the yeah, time. So I think so, I think But I hope you know that, like, regardless of all that crap, and who cares what happened, but mm -hmm. I just hope you know that, like, we... Like, you're my favorite person in the whole world. Without you, I don't know. I w like, you were my, the one person of encouragement. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So don't think that we're, we don't forgive you or we don't. I mean, I was never in a place to forgive you anyway because I was never angry at you. I was just sad that we couldn't be together. So uh, don't yeah. think that, you know? Thanks, sweetie. Wow. <laughs> oh. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Mom. <laughs> Mom, I just, yes, I want you to be able to move on from it though, you know? I just, I want yeah. you to be able to, be able to think that you didn't make it, you know? Everybody makes mistakes and everybody, you know? You we were everybody... young when you got married. Like, we've all, yeah. we've had time to, like, we haven't even gotten married and we're both, know. you know, we've experienced <laughs> <That's> <laughs> We're never getting why. married. I felt that it was really uncomfortable to see my mom cry because she's been really strong a lot of our years, and, and she, I know she's sensitive. She's kind of like us, right? Tough but sensitive. So I kind of know that when she cries, it's like she's really hurting. You guys, I love you guys. Come here, I love you guys too. <laughs> I think you should just move out here and solve all that problem. <laughs> what problem is that? The problem Mom, of you being so want, far away. I just want oh, to see. Oh, I see. That was really uh, quick to get here. Mm. Everything's so close to home here. Oh, oh please, ski jacket, because if we're warm walking, you want to be warm. Like it's, like You'd it's rather be warm. Trust me, it'll get cool quick. 
Yeah. You can always wrap it around your waist. Oh, actually, you have the bag. Right. Okay. What? Okay, let me just um. Oh, I just no. want to go hiking. It shouldn't be that difficult. It's not difficult. Oh, okay. I'm just grabbing the stuff. Grouchy. I'm not grouchy. I just want to. I want to go. Okay, we're going. Oh. Cool. Let's go. <laughs> no, I don't mean to rush you. I just really want. No, to get I want to get in the woods. Come on, let's go. We'll go down this Pause way. Pause here. Where? Yeah. Where? This down way? Here. Yeah. What's up there? I don't know. Never been up there. Let's take note of where we are, because otherwise okay. we'll get lost. Berries <laughs> and blossoms. So oh, berries and blossoms. And what does it say here? Okay, elderberries. Okay, what's sorry. a bush tits? Bush tits. Bush tits. <laughs> bush tits. Tips. No, bush tits. Bush tits, tits and winter reds. Nestling. Bush tits and winter reds. Let's go find those. Nesting. The bush tits. The bush tits. Bush tits. Bush tits. Bush tits. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? I don't know if it's all the moss. I don't know what it is. You don't know we'll if it was the rocks. Or, okay. If it's too much moss for me or what? Really? Uh, yeah. Oh no. Really? Just a little. Well, it is lots of a little bit pressure on the chest. Yeah, I'm having trouble breathing. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, Sam. I'm not liking that. Keep reading. See, by the water, I'm fine, but in here, I'm really. And I love the forest. So much. I feel that I fear expressing to my mom maybe some of the things that I want to discuss here on this journey because of her physical ailment. But now my legs are heavy. Weird. I don't want her to feel like that, but I, I mean, I, I still want to express that I wish she had been there, maybe. Sen, we can turn, Mom, we can turn around. Okay. We've had some good conversations, but it is hard in the three dynamic. a poem that I wrote when I was going through a really hard time and when you had left Ottawa. It was about 1993, I'd say, or 94. Scared little girl, lost in the crowd, holding all within her soul, <clears throat> never letting anything go. Let her scream for all's, all that's withheld. Allow the cuts to open, spew the blood out from the deepest vein. Was this during the period when you were with, uh, having a problem with um, bulimia? Or yeah, food? and I was still kind of shy about things and I still felt really um, lost at that time. And at that time, I think I had left Ottawa and she felt quite abandoned because uh, that was a very difficult period for her. I just sometimes oh, thought, I felt sometimes, I think the abandonment thing was, I felt like you'd talk about when you were away in other places, you'd talk about other people that you were helping, and I'd always feel like you'd help so many other people, and you weren't there to help me. But I don't mean to hurt you, I just... I hope you forgive me for that, sweetie. I really do try to like your forgiveness for that. Because it's, it's difficult. And I'm I know. I forgive myself on the same time. I want you to forgive yourself. You know, it's that I want to really be able important. to forgive you too. It's really important. We'll make plans to definitely do more quality stuff, okay? Spend okay. more time. I really want to do that, okay? Yeah. Thanks, Mom. I love you, sweetie. I love you too. I love you a lot. Oh. Angie, do you feel that I've abandoned you too? I never felt that you abandoned me. No. I just felt, I don't know, I don't even know how to describe it anymore because it's just like it's, <laughs> I don't know, we've kind of talked it to death. So yeah. I just kind of wish I had a mom around back when I was growing up because I think things would have been a lot different. Yeah. But then again, maybe I wouldn't be where I'm at if you were around, so it's just, you know, it's shitty when you have to learn things on your own or... It just makes me not want to... I just don't know if I'll ever get married or have children. And I know that that was your own thing and your own deal, and it shouldn't affect my decisions for that, but it does. I know it does. You know? I know it does. So, I mean, whatever happens, happens, but, I mean, I'm glad that you're in our lives now. And I mean, some things are just better left just left you know like there's really no any answer I'm gonna get isn't gonna like even with the questions I still might have about the divorce or about that time that period of time it's it's not really gonna change anything like I'm kind of I'm content in a sense with what she's told me already but I 
if I get the chance, I would ask some more questions. I'm sorry about that. It's okay, it's not your fault. That's the way life is sometimes. It's not exactly what you want. So. But I'm actually okay. Really? Even though I'm crying, I'm actually okay. Okay. Even though I was going through such a profound period in my own life and feeling like this living or dying situation, the children almost felt like that was a living or dying situation for them being abandoned. It makes me never want to have them feel like they're abandoned again. I think I veered towards saying that it was kind of selfish of her to think of maybe a relationship out, um, while that was going on. She said she wasn't getting any love from anybody. At that time, she felt really alone. And I just thought, if you have two children, wouldn't you feel like you were surrounded with love? I kind of feel like this new kind of feeling, this kind of feeling of just, you know, this calm. I don't feel that I need to talk about it anymore. Like, and she just wanted to be forgiven for any pain that I may have gone through. And I, I mean, I totally forgive her. It's the last day, but it's the first day for a lot of things, too, so that's really nice. <laughs> nice. You guys are ruining. <laughs> ruining. Okay. She was ruining the moment. I thought, so sorry. Try to do that with straight face. Go ahead. I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best of you to come. <laughs> the best is yet to come. Let's all say it together. The best. <laughs> best come. Come. Come hither. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, say it again like you said it originally. <laughs> I think that the best is yet to come. Best is yet to yeah. come. Yeah, it's going to be great here.